guys, I want to give you this truck plus $5,000 cash. I know you've seen my face. You might be interested. You're on the fence. Guys, I want to give this truck to you. You've got to get entered to win at onpgear.com. We're giving this thing away to one of you guys who placed an order on the site. So if you want to get entered to win this thing, just head on over to lnpgear.com and place an order because we're going to be picking one of our customers to give this truck to. And that somebody could be you just as easy as it could be anybody else in the store. So place an order, get entered to win, and best we are of luck. about to take the second gen here to Miguel. He's gonna do us some he's gonna do us some TLC for the truck. Needs a needs a little fix there. And then it's got a couple little chips on the bumper so he's gonna work the bumper down and redo that. It's got a little it's got a little boo-boo on the hood right there. So we're gonna take this truck into him and get this thing looking a1 again. I haven't started this thing in probably four or five days. I'm trying to get a view of the hood stack. <laughs> yeah, that made a mess. That made a mess. That's nice. That's nice. you mean now when you guys said uh, the hood stack would get old if it's parked indoors and no condensation or anything settles in that stack and makes it to where it gets messy when you start it up I can see how it could get pretty messy pretty quick Date. It's been it's been a while. Seven or eight days since my last video. In that time, we got the wife a new car. We got the bed cap from the white truck. My grandpa's truck transferred over to Rosine. And I'm gonna hop in Rosine and talk to you guys a little bit further. What is going on? I don't know what you guys saw last in the video clip. I like thought I was trying to film something about a week ago. And then we've just been so freaking busy with the move that I've been like completely not filming anything for YouTube because I'm like, we've got to move because as soon as we get moved, I can film more stuff because we will be done with the move and I can focus on it. So um, we're in Rosine right now. I took the cap off my grandpa's truck, moved it over here. My wife freaking helped me and she's so excited to have this half cap on her truck. The reason for that is that truck Back up a little bit. I dropped the regular cap off to get the hood fixed, which I think that might have been actually what you guys saw last is me saying that I was going to drop it off. So that's been dropped off. That's actually going to be getting picked up tomorrow. When I pick that up tomorrow, I'm taking my grandpa's, uh, my late grandfather's old Dodge that I had gotten years ago um, that I have been telling you guys, once good weather's here, we're done running it through the snow and salt. Since it was already rusty anyway, we figured might as well drive that thing all winter. So we did. It served us well. But now we're going to restore this thing, give it a lot of TLC. Um, we're going to get the, all the paint and body work done. So Miguel's going to get to working his magic on that, cutting out all the rust, replacing the door, and a bunch of other stuff. So he's going to be doing that. And then we're making our move. I got a whole list of videos I want to film as soon as we get moved in there. Some regarding the trucks in the new place over there, and some of them regarding, you know, the new barn we're building and the shop we're finishing out and stuff like that. So there's a whole bunch of stuff coming up with that, but we've just been so freaking busy and trying to get the move done. And I'm super excited. Today we're gonna haul Rosine over to the barn here and then we're gonna load this thing up with as much barn stuff as we can because Rosine is gonna be making her official trip over to the new place 
in a day or two when we also load up another U-Haul trailer behind the new car and get that um, taken over there and unloaded. But we're gonna try to see how much barn stuff we can fit in Rosine's bed because if we can do that, we can just drive her truck over there. I can follow her in the other car with the U-Haul trailer, drop Rosine off, and then come back and grab another load if we have to, which I'm guessing we will, but I don't know for sure. And just you know, try to get a bunch of stuff done at once and because the truck has to get moved over, but we figured if we're gonna move the truck over, we might as well fill it with as much stuff as we can that's for the barn. So we just pull it into the barn and we don't have to unload it for now. And all the other stuff coming up, you guys will get to see soon, but let's get over to the barn and load this thing up as much as we can. Here's the back Rosine with the, with the three quarter cap. I said half cap, it's really like a three quarter cap, you know? Um, and what we're trying to do is pack it as tight as we can back in there with the stuff that could get wet, like the boxes. And so I've also got some new Anthem wheels that are for my grandpa's truck, but I just didn't want to put them on the truck until it was rust free and looked really good because I didn't think it would be a great representation to put them on the truck while it's all rusted out and just wouldn't be the same impression. So we're gonna get these thrown in here because the truck's gonna be with Miguel for a month or so and we're not gonna need these here. So we're gonna be putting these on the truck at the new shop once the truck's back. So we're gonna to get to packing this thing up as tight as we can get it. Jam tight full of boxes and accessories from the barn. The thing is freaking packed. So we got the entire cap packed, and we've got all of our barn accessories, shovels, brooms, all sorts of accessories, her original fenders, tons of truck accessories, chainsaws, and yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a ton of stuff. It's most of the stuff that we had left in the barn that we hadn't gotten packed yet, so most of that's in there, and then what I did to try to rainproof it a little bit, since it's not the right size for the bed, I actually tarped it over and tucked it and pinched it in between a bunch of stuff over top, wrapped it around the sides, and tucked it underneath of the stuff at the end, and then I put the jack stands on the back of the tarp to hold it hold it down and then I set this on the back as well that way it's all in there nice and snug and even if it does rain it's not gonna get everything wet so I'm gonna do a little look at our car here but um recap of the Ram getting a new bumper getting all the rust fixed it's got a got a decent amount of rust not on this side that bad other than the cap corner of the bed and the fender up front but on this side especially, fender needs replaced, door needs replaced, rockers, cab corner, bed fender, it's gonna get cut out. So that's the, that's a quick little recap, but yeah, that's getting all done. I'm dropping that thing off tomorrow, and finally, as I've been anticipating ever since I picked it up right before winter and all the salt and bad weather, um, it's finally gonna be getting done now that spring's here and we don't need to drive it, and now that we got this. So we've been running the Ram and we've been running Rosine like crazy. And I told my wife once we're done running those trucks in the winter and it's nicer weather, we're gonna get you a nice car again. And then we're gonna go back to um, not daily driving the truck. So it's a Ford Explorer Sport. It's got the twin turbo, EcoBoost, V6, whatever. It's pretty sharp. It's pretty cool. Already got the car seat in there. It's got the center console right there, which is actually pretty slick. So I'll show you a little better view of the back seat here. And um, it is actually a it is actually a three rail. You can just fold that all flat if you want, and then you don't need it. You just have a huge trunk. And of course, the wife had to have. The big sunroof, the double sunroof, so she's pretty pumped. And I can't say I'm not excited to not have to drive that truck daily because as fun as it is driving that truck and as sentimental as it is, it's not a fun daily runner in its current state. So we got most of this truck also emptied. It needs a lot of stuff. Um, but like I said, guys, we're gonna be getting the paint body work done, throwing new wheels, new tires on it. But we're also gonna be tearing into a lot of stuff under the hood and just under the truck in general. So the truck actually needs quite a few things still. Um, it needs a new clutch fan. Now when you drive it, when you're accelerating, it is sounding like a mega monster fan is under the hood, just like screaming. And so it needs to have, I believe it is, I could be using the wrong word, the clutch fan needs to be replaced. It needs like a new belt because it squeaks and squeals and you start it and turn it off and accelerate sometimes, the belt chirps a little loud. I mean, it needs, it needs a lot of new little small things. So I'm hoping that by mm, the end of summer, hopefully, 
maybe, maybe it won't take that long. I don't know. I should be able to uh, hammer away on this thing pretty much daily for a couple weeks and get a lot of stuff knocked out in the new shop. I'm hoping that this thing will have the new paint, new wheels, new tires, and all that stuff. And then I can just start to tear into this thing, get into it, make sure the whole front end's good, replace a bunch of steering parts, put a new exhaust system on it. It needs an engine tune-up, I'm sure. That probably hasn't been done since I got it for him or earlier than that. It needs a lot of stuff done uh, just to make it like perfect. And my father-in-law's got a two, no, he's got a 97, I believe. It's a 97 or 98, 1500 extended cab short bed, I think it is. And his truck, you know, he's had it for a while now and he's gotten some things done to it. His truck is like pretty much spot on the way that I'd want to set this up other than I want to add towing airbags so that if I want to, I can use the truck to pull his tractor um, at some point when that's also done. But yeah, so... Moving process in full swing. Lots going on right now. So hopefully um, I can get a couple more videos here of the moving process because I believe tomorrow we're gonna be taking some stuff up there to unload. And I'm gonna try if I can to get some videos of that. There's a little bit of content of the moving process with my wife and myself. And so stay tuned guys. And if you have not done so yet, you can get entered to win this. 1995 compound turbo 12 al cummins plus five thousand dollars cash yes you can enter to win this truck right now right now every one dollar is going to get you one entry to win for all items on the store except for mystery boxes mystery box members right now of course and like always forever and ever uh, are 20 times entries for mystery boxes there was a little bit of a hiccup with the mystery boxes at the beginning of the giveaway for some reason it wasn't letting people buy them just a little website glitch we got that sorted out you can still proceed with purchasing mystery boxes and every time that thing renews it gets you more entries and more entries and more entries and it gets you entered into every giveaway as long as you stay subscribed and we are going to be calling cody plum today if you want to go check that out on the lnp gear youtube channel that's for all exclusively giveaway truck winners from now on and uh truck overviews that's just about a giveaway promotion or advertisements and stuff like that or info around the giveaways or when new bonus entry periods go live and stuff that will all be over on that channel so if you want to go check that out to keep up to date with the giveaways in what phase of the giveaways we're in and who won and stuff like that those updates will all be on there if you're looking for only giveaway updates just to pop in real quick see what's up and then get out and then you don't have to like watch a full length video to get a little bit of information so um, we're gonna be calling him today and getting that up there on the channel he's coming from illinois and he won lnp dg 30 by being subscribed to a monthly mystery box it renewed into that giveaway and he's been subscribed for a few months now and not only did he get cool merch every single month, but uh, he's getting a freaking sweet truck. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I'll keep you guys updated as much as I can. You guys are the best, and uh, we will catch you here in the next video. Peace.